हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज सत्य प्रकाश वेलकम टू माय चैनल दिस इज पार्ट टू ऑफ एमबीसी इन दिस सेशन विल डिस्कस हाउ टू रन एस पी डॉट नेट एम एप्लीकेशन यूजिंग आईआईएस सो आईआईएस इज इंटरनेट इंफॉर्मेशन सर्विसेज and before going through this part 2 please visit my part 1 of mbc that is mbc version using c sharp you can get this video in my playlist called mbc tutorial so in this session we'll discuss what is built in asp.net de development server using visual studio and what is iis so before that i will create one mbc application so new project and i will select here asp.net web application framework and here i'll check i'll i'll type the name of mbc application satya mbc app and i'll click okay here and i'll select here empty and check check i'll check box will be mbc and click okay so guys here you can see my project is loaded properly with the mbc model v1 controller and all related files and folders and i'll create one controller called home controller here so right click on temp on the folder controllers and select here add and go and select here controller here and mbc controller empty i'll select the options here and add and i'll select i'll type here home controller and click add and guys here you can see uh, there is one function called index so it is the default function which can be added with my controller called home controller and it is inherited from the controller base class right and here i'll change the return type of index function to string and remove that comment section here okay and here what i'll do uh here i have uh, changed my return type in of the index function from action result to string and i will type some message here that is return and inside double quotation i'll type something like like this hello world or hello satyaprakash right satyaprakash samant roy and save these changes and here i'll just align the code properly yeah so that's the code i have for today's session and i will run that i'll run this application and i'll see what will happen here so you can see that this ias express here or you can see the debug option you can start with start with your debugging or start debugging so i'll start here ias express it is the google chrome browser is showing and if you have the installed other browsers like mozilla so that it will show here internet explorer microsoft edge if you have mozilla or other application like opera so that it will show here in the list so i want to run my application using google chrome so i just select here and it starts building here once the build is successfully it will show one message here that is build is succeeded you can see that my project is building succeeded so that it will open another browser of chrome instance and it will show this output
and guys you notice here the string is rendered on the screen when we you, when you run the application by default it is using built-in sp.net development server so how to check it if you select here and see here IIS, IIS, IIS express so this is nothing but the built-in sp.net development server which is inbuilt in the visual studio and i'll right click here and you can see that our application name satya mbc app and you can see this app local host and the port number if you want to stop site you can stop it and this this is the this is the sp.net development server right it is built in so what i'll do here let's use iis to run the application instead of built in sp.net development server so i will close this browser and what I'll do here, I'll go to my IIS first. So guys, here you can see that this is the IIS. It is nothing but the Internet Information Service Manager. So I want to run my MVC application using IIS. So what, what are the steps here? So in the Solution Explorer, I'll click here, right click of the properties of the project and here what i'll do i'll select the web in the left hand side the window will open automatically after loading all these things so here i'll select here web and guys here you can see that uh, uh, in the server section you can see that one drop down here local IIS uh, IIS Express and external host right so what I'll do that there is select yeah so I'll select here IIS Express here right uh, local IIS yeah it is the local IIS selected and here you can see that when I select the local IIS, it will convert to local host and Satya MBC app without the port number. But by default, IIS Express, it is nothing but the built-in de development server. It contains with the port number. But uh, if, you, if you want to run application using IIS, so you select here local IIS. And you can see port number is uh, removed here. And you can see local host class, your project name right here and notice notice that here project url is set to the default name by default right the satya mbc app and after then we need to click here create virtual directory so i got one successful message that the virtual directory was created successfully and i'll go to my uh, I'll go to my uh, IIS so I'll s select this one uh, refresh and expand this go to sites and default website you can see your uh, MBC application is successfully available in IIS so if you expand this you can got all these files and select here and you can browse here So you can see in the browser, you can check one MBC URL is loaded. So guys, here we can see that same string that is hello Satya Prakash Samantrai. So we can run our MBC application using IIS without using the Visual Studio here, right? And I'll save this, save these changes, right? And also, I'll go to uh, this one desktop in my IIS and refresh these changes. And go, you can select here, and also you can refresh here. No need to run here again from the uh, IIS, so that I can run from the I can refresh it from the browser, and you can see here localhost and Satya MBC app. So there is no need to run the application using Visual Studio. It will take so much time 
because it will load all your uh, JS CSS file all this uh, class folders so that it will take so much time using Visual Studio because by default it will take as IIS Express and it is a built-in development server so that for faster purpose we can use IIS to run our MVC application so guys I'll show you one more important here that I can change the URL to uh, that is Satya MVC app and slash home and slash index right and refresh it so guys because here home is my controller and index is my controller action method right so why by default it loads our uh, URL in this uh, in the URL path it, it is because in if you go to app start and route config.cs so you can see in the routes.map route section the default controller name is home and action method is index so so that whenever we run our application satya mbc app by default it will show that Sat home and the controller action method is index so that we can get this string is rendered in our browser hello Satya Prakash Samantrai and one more important thing I'll tell you instead of localhost we can also put our IP address and we can run our application here so how to find the IP address so I will go to IP config and here we can see that is my IP address is this one and I select here and I'll go to my local host and replace it with my IP address and select so guys also you can see we can get the same output after putting the IP address instead of local host so uh, this is the way we can run our MVC application using IIS instead of built-in SV.NET development server in Visual Studio so this is my YouTube channel. Subscribe and share it to get the updated knowledge on .NET, .NET Core, C Sharp, SQL Server, MVC, Azure, Angular, and DevOps. So what we have learned today in this video that is how to run our MVC application using built-in SV.NET development server using Visual Studio and how to run our MVC application in IIS and uh, instead of localhost also we can put our IP address to run our MVC application after putting in IIS so that's all about guys for today thank you for listening have a great day